What is going on, guys? So recently, I bought an Elgato capture card, and I've had a bit of trouble setting everything up and getting everything configured for my particular setup. So I decided to make a tutorial for any of you guys out there that might have something similar to what I have going on. So on my main computer, I have a Sapphire Fury Tri-X, and I have a Sound Blaster Z sound card. And in the capture computer, I have the Elgato capture card installed. Now, the first issue I ran into was, of course, the fact that I am using a 4K monitor, but the Elgato only supports 1080p pass-through, and I don't want to be restricted to 1080p while gaming. So to get around that, if you have an AMD card, you want to head into your Crimson um, application and nvidia's geforce experience i believe if you're on the nvidia side you want to head over to display and you want to make sure virtual super resolution is turned on for the capture card once you have that turned on you can go into your display settings and you want to duplicate your main display with the capture card and then you'll be able to head into advanced display settings and you'll notice that we are running at 2160 and we are at 60 FPS, which is what we want. After we have that worked out, we ran into the issue of sound. Now I am running a Sound Blaster Z, so that means if I want my sound card to process the audio, I can't send the audio to the capture card via HDMI. And the only way to get around that was to run an optical cable from the capture computer to the optical in on the Sound Blaster Z. And then I can run optical out from the Sound Blaster Z to my receiver when I'm running in surround sound or I can plug my headphones directly into the capture card if I you know, just wanna use my headset. Now, when you are doing that, you do have to make sure that in OBS and the um, source settings, you want to head down to where you added the capture card um, as a source and you want to go to audio output and make sure it is set to desktop audio wave out. If you have it set to direct sound, you will get a lot of clipping and distortion and other weird things going on like that. So to test how this all works, if I play this Animals as Leaders track, you can see desktop audio here and you can see the what you hear option here when I go ahead and play this, you'll notice that I do get audio going to the capture PC and I do get a signal going to the what you hear um, recording option within my sound settings. And that is because in the Sound Blaster Z control panel, when you head over to Mixer, you have, Mixer, you have your digital in um, recording input and when you click on these settings, you want to have listen to this device checked. So the audio is going to be sent to the capture card via HDMI and then back from the capture PC to the Sound Blaster Z versus Digital N. And you have to have this checked so you can hear it while this is going on. And that is how you can configure the capture card to work not only with the 4K display monitor or 1440p monitor, but you also be able to get it to work with different internal and external sound cards via this setup.